Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. As you can see, I'm incredibly hyped. Uh, we're checking out Set Me Free Part 2 by Jimin. Uh, yesterday, checking out the teaser, it was probably one of the few times when I regretted or had second thoughts about reacting to teasers because usually I don't and I watched it on my own time and my jaw dropped. And then I found out that the director who's directing this music video actually worked on Espa's Girls as well as TXT Runaway and one of my favorite songs in general that I've checked out by TXT, Can't You See Me? Uh, so I'm very, very hyped about the vibe, no pun intended, of this song and how potentially dark it may be, but just in general, whether it was going to be a super fun song and with pure elegance or something really, really dark, it's Jimin. I'm hyped no matter what. So without further ado, don't know what else to say. Honestly, I'm too excited. So let's get into it. We'll do a first reaction. I'll probably not going to talk too much about it. And then we're going to have a second reaction where we'll try to kind of talk about some lyrics, anything of interest to me to talk about. We'll do that in the second portion of this video. So let's get into it. Oh, the facial expressions. It's like demons trapped or something. <laughs> Holy shit! This is so anthemic! On the formation. Oh Jesus. I got a good time. Yet to get mine. Hat must be broke. Hell is it night. I never stop. You beautiful, majestic, swearing bastard. I've said this before and I'll say it again. A swearing idol is my favorite idol. I, I'm half joking, but what? Let's think about it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, the Oh, this is beautiful. The instrumental. Oh my god, this is amazing. I swear I'm looking at what's written, not get your head out of it. Uh, uh, well, no, I'm, I'm looking at what's written and I can barely make out. Ah, uh, let's talk about it later. Holy shit. This might be the best song I've heard all year. Holy shit. Oh my God. So far, it's, it's, it, it, holy shit. Prime Gem in time. And he keeps on getting pushed back, though. Okay, I just have to say, I. 
even though this is like in general it's not like a full-blown like cinematic video with like a blockbuster kind of budget but the genius of it is that the actual choreography it almost like creates that vision of a movie as far as like they keep on mocking me the 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 dancers become like the demons they become the ones who push them push him back they become the haters who mock him like this is so inc- insanely well done that i'm forgetting about the fact that this is like a a performance piece at its finest this is absolutely incredible uh and they they literally prompt the dancers up because they're looking down on him uh, and he says, I won't stop even if they mock me. So it's like those who feel like they know better keyboard warriors and whatnot, haters in general, who feel like they're so much better than you and then point it at you and look down on you. This is amazing. Holy shit. And it's ironic. He says, finally free, but he gets pushed. But he's like, fuck your feelings. Oh my god. The vocals. This is, oh my god, this is so epic. Oh, <gasps> And the tattoo too. Oh my god, that was amazing. The fact that he gets swallowed in the darkness, basically. Kind of in a in a very weird way, it like reminds me of the ending of uh, Constantine. Lucifer w- was putting his hands inside of him, like literally trying to kill him. And then suddenly, like heavens or something, like opens up, and then Constantine is doing like this to Lucifer. I I'm kind of like I I don't know if that's that's kind of like the vibes that I'm getting in a way here because he's like fuck your ops uh you know basically being i'm gonna do me no matter what like he's finally at a point in his life where he he struggled enough with himself and with the demons that are outside of his comfort zone like as far as like legitimate people who put him down uh so he's he was finally set free and the fact that the, the whole all of these dancers are pouncing on him like all of these demons are basically like trying to get him and then it all crumbles because what he needed to do was set himself free and therefore once you stop caring about it that's when all of this drops and the haters become irrelevant once your mind is set free and it's like fuck those haters i don't care and now he's in a white outfit pure as 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 you know Pure as Jim, man. Pure as it sounds. Holy shit, this was absolutely incredible. Let's take it back, because it is so freaking incredible. The dancers in the beginning, like the facial, like they really, the director uh, and everyone who worked on this uh, really did a phenomenal job of like highlighting the dancers as much as they all almost like highlight Jim. And this is absolutely beautiful as far as like the, it's not just the dancing. It's almost like there's dancing, there's uh, express uh, sh- a showcase of true expression. It's almost like there's it's, there's something very theatrical about it. The facial expression, the actual acting, especially in the beginning of the music video, because they're all blinded and they they're screaming. Like it, it almost kind of like reminds me of of like demons or something. Uh, legitimately, again, I'm kind of thinking of. Constantine when he's about to go off against like some of those uh demons and whatnot before he 
starts killing them off and throwing like I believe the holy water or something on them like uh it's actually quite incredible there's something very euphoric and almost like heavenly about the melody of the song Jimin's vocals here are absolutely incredible. I'm not even speaking about the high notes, like the complexity that the, the, all the variations that he provides here, the different flows, is just absolutely incredible. And then to top it all off with the actual performance, and then the actual instrumental, and th uh, th this is absolutely incredible. Let's take it back. Let's uh, let's get into it again. Holy fucking shit, guys. This is insane. Actually, before we continue, there's one thing that I did want to talk about before I forget uh, is the body art on Jimin. And apparently from a quick look on Twitter, it is a German poem. Now, the translation uh, is, first of all, the poem is by Rainer Maria Rilke. Apologies for butchering the name, but the poem reads, the translation to English is, I live my life in widening circles that reach out across the world. I may not complete this last one, but I give myself to it. I circle around God, around the primordial tower. I've been circling for thousands of years and I still don't know, am I a falcon, a storm, or a great song. So the interesting part, and this is something that I found uh, in a blog post, I will link it in the pinned comments of this comment section of this video, uh, just so you guys can read a little bit about this if you're interested in this poem and this person kind of dissects this poem from their point of view and tries to explain it as, as best as possible, uh, because I'm not going to try to do that because I don't want to take the credit. But the interesting part about this poem and uh, this is what Matthew, who talks about it, uh, touches on. It is from a book with the subtitle Love Poems to God. The circling uh, has our speaker perplexed as he wants to better understand who he is and what he should do. He narrows it down to three metaphorical interpretations. First, he could be a falcon returning to the falconer. Um, second, he could be a storm clouding around the primordial tower of God. This pessimistic view darkens his judgment and abilities, acknowledging the stain of sin that humans bear. The final interpretation, and that's what he says is his favorite, he is a great song. It's beautifully poetic to imagine that we are songs swirling beneath and around God, that our lyrics and melodies bring him some joy. Uh, on the flip side, on the flip side, Jesus, when we're out of key, we're tough to listen to, and sometimes our songs are repetitive, uninspired, and vulgar. Ultimately, Real Key ends the poem without deciding upon one of the three interpretations. So it is up to whoever is reading or whoever is interpreting it, in this case, Jimin, to decide who he is. And obviously, uh, I feel like throughout these lyrics, there's, there's definitely a feeling of being a bit of a storm, a bit of a, a falcon, and obviously a great song, and like sir, widening circles and all that kind of stuff, um, touching everyone, uh, widening your circles as far as like widening your horizons, your 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 experiences, and and all all of this. It's it's absolutely beautiful. I've never heard of this poem before, but now I'm a huge fan, and it's incredibly intriguing. So I definitely suggest checking out the full post. I'm not gonna take credit for the interpretation of it because i'm not that smart and yeah so I'll, I'll include it in the post let's take it back again <laughs> i'm sorry that was a long uh pause In a way, this could also be like kind of like dancing with my demons. I got a good time, get to get mine. Be broke, is it not? This is already so fucking beautiful. I love his vocal so much. I love the mix of English and Korean here too. Time to get mine as it's literally his time to shine, prime Jimin. Um, 
and Hennessy a knight as far as like obviously a very self explanatory as far as like being uh the f- drinking at night, being depressed, drowning your sorrows, and like the the dancer, the dancers definitely kind of like do an amazing job. Whoever did this choreography, whoever worked on it, obviously with Jim and all of that kind of stuff, uh, deserves such an incredible amount of praise for making the choreographers like almost like the 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 good, the bad, the ugly. And the beautiful, it, it's absolutely incredible. Let's think about it. Wandered in a maze, like not knowing where to go. Plus being so drunk that you basically feel like you're in a maze. The whole, th- this, they literally almost like created a maze and there's like, there's no way out. Basically, there, there, there's something that is preventing him, which I, which is ironic as he says, I'm finally free, but yet he has no way out. And, uh, so it's almost like mentally, I have no escape. Once mentally I can get over it, that's when all of these people who represent like demons and whoever will collapse, uh, which is also something that he does in in the second or in the third chorus. He says, "I'm finally free," and then the dancers actually push him back. So it's like being pushed back to darkness in a way. Oh my God, Jesus! The- going insane to stay sane that sounds like 2023 in a nutshell to be honest and ironically right now jimin is doing the same the same thing hiding his eyes covering his eyes which is something that the dancers did in the very beginning of this video as they were like screaming but then they were covering their their eyes and now the dancers are circling him it creates like a barrier these dancers are like pointing and circling him and he doesn't see them visually it's almost like he's trying to pretend like the demon like if i pretend that they're not there then 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 they're not actually there like trying to drown your your demons in whatever which way or pretending uh to be fine when you're not but also lyrically it's actually beautiful uh, i won't hide anymore even if it hurts as far as like not hiding who i am even like showing tattoos absolutely showing him because he is free like a free state of mind uh, then, this is so fucking beautiful and let's i i want to listen to this course again like, yeah, holy shit this isn't also like him talking about fly like a butterfly and butterfly is uh a metaphor it's a symbol holy shoulders jim never mind uh butterflies are a symbolism of like uh resurrection and rebirth and if i'm not mistaken whether it's lyrically or dancing wise it makes up for the fact that it, it creates a story that is almost like more epic in your mind than the video could have had if they had like a hundred million dollar budget you know what i mean like it's absolutely incredible that they did that um with a performance basically video that's that's insane And he has never, I think, on his ribs. Not sure if that's what it says, but... And now it's almost like being going back to that darkness that continues to drown you in a way. And also even like, set me free as he runs forward, but has he's demons basically are almost like running with him in a way it's like charge forward towards what will set you free and whatnot this is 
I can talk about the song for probably like an hour and a half, but to make it easy on you guys, I'm 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 not going to do that. So. Still in the maze. It fucking amazing. Like as we go back to black, did I just reference a song? He throws it back to that first verse uh, so beautifully. Uh, he's still in a maze. He's still surrounded by that darkness and the, the demons are still dancing with him and whatnot. Enemy. I love that the production on the vocals there because it's almost like he's not talking. It, it almost feels like it's his mind that is screaming out of control rather than him actually. Like that's kind of like the effect that these vocals that the processing on them does. It's not for the sake of, oh, let's add a little bit of like something that sounds like autotune or something. No, it's actually to create a distorted perception of what is what it's like in my head. So I'm like, shut the fuck up. Almost like to myself, like stop putting yourself down. Like it's almost like looking in the mirror and like being angry at yourself because you're a mess and whatnot and you can't move forward. Um, and also talking potentially to anyone else who ever mocked him or made fun of him or anyone who put him down haters you know online bullying and all, all that kind of stuff pretty sure that there's like a pretty popular video on youtube i believe it was jimin like all of bts were like on their phones or something and jimin saw something the video says that he saw like a negative comment and then you see the rest of bts like looking at the phone and the atmosphere kind of changes it was an edited version and the music was very sad and it seemed like the guys were truly uh, what started with Jimin and then you see the rest of them, I think Suga and I think I am too, uh, they got, they went from being happy to, to almost like being kind of like upset and almost like emotionless, like, ah, oh, shit, like that kind of thing. I'm not sure what was the uh, the context of the vi of the original video, but uh, if you know what I'm talking about, feel free to let me know uh, the actual context. I can feel And again, like those processed vocals, it's almost like in his mind, like forget, go, like everything that he says, uh, it's almost like he's talking to himself, like forget about it, move on, do your thing, it's my prime time, you know, adding almost like this accent as if like he's singing to us, but he's also speaking to himself. It's so smooth. And the, this visual is just... And even like the dancers doing like the, the mind touching their heads and like almost as of like trying to contain their sanity while going insane because it, it may look like in to to the outside world like you're trying to contain, contain yourself but it looks like you're going crazy but in reality bitch I'm trying so hard not to flip out right now you know uh and also everybody, as I touched on in the first reaction, all of the dancers kind of like pointing at him as the lyrics say, mock me. Um, it, this is incredible. This is so freaking relatable too. Like I'm, I'm blown away. This is so soulful. Holy shit. Holy shit. This reminds me of Constantine in a way. Lucifer tries to get him, but he sees heavens, he sees God. 
Am I the falcon or am I the storm or am I a great song? Much like the poem that is on his body. And then white. Purity. And it's almost like a crescent moon, which is also fairly symbolic, but I'm pretty sure that I talked about like crescent moons, moons and whatnot, moons in general, so many freaking times on this channel. And yet I still kind of forget what is the actual meaning. This is one of the most incredible things I've seen not only this year, but ever since I started this channel and ever since I really was mature enough to appreciate music videos on a level where where it touches you emotionally. This is incredible. And the fact that they did all of that with a performance video, I feel like that makes it even that much more incredible. Uh, the vocals, the, and also the fact that he swears, it's, it's not for the sake of swearing and having an F-bomb. And it's something that I actually talked about previously with, with another, uh, with another idol who uses a swear word. It's not because oh I want to throw it in there just to show how independent I am. It's I'm doing that because this is the very least that is happening in happening in my head. Like there's so much going on, so much darkness, so much shit and fuckery happening in my head. That saying shit and fuck and whatnot a couple of times in a song. Bitch, that's the bare minimum that I can do because I can barely contain the darkness that is in me. So I feel like that it serves a purpose and it's not it's not just, oh, he's swearing. Awesome. You know, um, unlike me who swears just because, you know, I'm, I can't express myself any other way. So, you know, uh, this was absolutely incredible. It was one of the best things I've ever seen in my fucking life. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If I made any sense, let me know in the comment section if you flipped out as hard as I did and probably even more because you guys especially are me uh, who've been with BTS since at the very least day one or been with them for longer than I have uh, and know exactly how capable Jimin is. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, this is absolutely freaking insane. Uh, no, no pun, I guess. But uh, this is incredible. And uh, it also kind of reminds me in a way of Tyler Durden's quote from Fight Club, like uh, everything you own ends up owning you. So here it's almost like I'm, I, I stop. I become the owner. Of, I, I become my own master. It, it, almost like kind of like it's okay to not be okay. Uh, Sangte belongs to Sangte. Gangte belongs to Gang. Like, we don't belong to each other, we belong to ourselves. And when you realize that, that's when you, we can make progress, be set free. If that makes any sense. This was amazing. Let me know your thoughts on this music video and on my uh, reaction as well. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Um, I'm blown away. See you in the next one. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Peace.